This is the South Pacific Adventist News. Thank you for joining me. I'm David Gibbons. An 89-year-old Australian archaeologist has just returned from a Middle East Bible lands tour with Adventist church leaders from around the world. They spent 17 days in Egypt, Jordan and Israel visiting traditional biblical sites. David Down was an Adventist pastor until he retired 24 years ago. These days, he publishes a monthly journal, a bi-monthly magazine, and continues to take groups to the Middle East on archaeological digs. I also wrote a book called Unwrapping the Pharaohs. They sold 10,000 copies, and now they're printing another 10,000 copies, and it looks like there's a lot to do yet. David Down also hosted the popular biblical archaeology television series, Digging Up the Past, which is now available on DVD. A new book has just been released which contains stories about ordinary people who have had an extraordinary encounter with God. The book is called Ordinary People, Faithful God and it's a sequel to a similar book published back in 2005. That book was a sellout selling 4,000 copies mostly in Australia and New Zealand. The stories are all about Adventist Christians who live in Australia, New Zealand, the Solomon Islands and Papua New Guinea. We've got more stories in this volume, 60 stories this time, uh, with people sharing the faithfulness of God in their lives. The book is published by Signs and is available at all Adventist bookstores throughout Australia, New Zealand and the Pacific. An 18-year-old Adventist university student has run her own evangelistic campaign in Waitara, Sydney. Charissa Fong is only 18, but she ran her first evangelistic campaign when she was 16. At least 16 people now want to become Adventist Christians. Charissa knew that she wanted to become a preacher back in 1999, when she was only 10. And when I realised that God was a, someone to be a friend of and not someone to be afraid of, that's when I gave my life to Jesus. When she was younger, Charissa used to practise preaching in her bedroom to her sister. One of the most popular preachers at the North New South Wales 10-day camp last week used to be a drug smuggler and an atheist. US-born Matthew Gamble became an Adventist pastor 12 years ago. He is now working towards a doctorate in ministry and runs a new church called the 24-7 Ministry Centre in Seattle, Washington. He challenged over a thousand people every day at the Stewart's Point New South Wales camp program to deal with their addictions and to be hot for Jesus. By sharing my story, by being, being real, um, by being honest, it, it gains and earns respect and trust uh, to the point where they're, they're willing to, to reciprocate. Gamble has been to more than 12 countries and says that this camp meeting was the best that he has seen in the world. Adventist principals across the Pacific travelled to New Zealand recently to see why Adventist schools there are different. The New Zealand government expects Adventist schools to be unique in order to receive government funding. This has been law since 1993. This means that any visitor to a school must easily see the special Adventist Christian character in the school's governance, curriculum delivery, community relationships, service and evangelism. There are 16 Adventist schools in New Zealand with 1,600 students and 80 teachers. Teachers at the Kalma Adventist High School on the Pacific Islands of Kiribati are expecting more than 100 students to be baptised before the end of the year. 98 students were baptised in just one day last year. Adventist leaders from the Kiribati and Nauru Mission say that a large number of converts are mostly due to the work of the school's chaplain and the teachers. The school is the most successful evangelistic program run by the church in Kiribati. Two of the recent student converts are from Nauru where there is no Adventist church at the moment. And finally in this week's edition of The Record, the former Australian Federal Opposition Leader visits Carmel College, Western Australia. 200 church members attended workshops in Brisbane, Melbourne and Sydney on how to grow spirituality. 
At least 100 Adventist churches in Australia and New Zealand now report their tithes and offerings online. And there are some tips on how you can tell how many people are visiting your church's website. That's the news. Thanks for watching. I'm David Gibbons.